Hello everyone. Welcome to my first video to build the Prusa Mendel with the kits that I build. Well, I see, I've printed out a, a yellow, uh, all the parts for a yellow pr Prusa and it's 38 parts total and you can see here that I put a little foot a screw on foot plastic onto the bottom of the foot vertex so you can level this thing very easily once you start uh, setting it up well let's start putting this thing together the horizontal rod put a nut on each end washer and a vertex foot another washer nut and I do want to say these rods I've made a little bit longer than what the original Prusa calls for the reason for that is because of the y-axis mount you got your bearings that go underneath here but the, these are a little bit wider than the regular size Prusa so that's why I'm making all the rods a little bit longer and to just give it a little more room Once you get the the bottom rod in, just like that, then you can put start putting the uh, top vertex together. Need a nut, same thing. Washer goes in just like this. <coughs> washer on top nut next one and these rods are all same size for the left hand side and the right hand side for the feet and the vertex Carry away. Ah. I'll get it right here in a minute. These are all stainless steel rods as well. Um, you don't have to use stainless, but I like to just makes for a nicer job <clears throat> okay now nut on the bottom washer measuring it at this point. I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. These are also stainless steel washers and nuts. Like I said, you don't have to go that route by the galvanized. But you gotta make sure it's 
lightly coated with galvanized, otherwise you're going to have problems. On the smooth rod, I would suggest you use cold rolled steel at least. Don't buy just any kind of smooth rod you can find because they won't work. Okay, we've got that put together. Now we can measure it with this rod. And it's almost there. You want to evenly space the ends. It just looks better. And if you have a flat tabletop to bolt everything, snug it up. That's the way to do it. Okay, I got my space in that. We can tighten it up. The other thing is, is you don't want to over tighten this stuff. It's plastic. If you over tighten it, you're going to break it. Common sense. You want it tight enough to where it's not going to move later on, though. Please forgive my voice, I do have a cold. Okay, this is that one, bottom. This is what squares this thing up. But I'm not going to use this on the height. I said that uh, I did change the length on some of this so we can go with a tape measure on this so we'll make this on 11 and 3 quarters The thing I like about this vertex is that it's uh, three and one. It mounts the motor. <coughs> the stepper motor. So you just tighten all this up. Try to get it the same as the other side as far as depth and height. 
it's not real critical, but it looks better. first one you do the other side the same way 